Welcome to TextPress. Today I'm going to add the Add to Cart button in a Shopify collection page. Here's an example of how it actually looks a collection page into Shopify. So let's get started by adding here the Add to Cart into all the actual single elements so we can make this much more faster. First of all, I'm going to go into my Shopify store dashboard. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you don't have any Shopify store online store to get started. Once we are in here, what you wanted to do is to focus into the next step, which is locating your collection page. So let's go here into your products. Into the upper side, let's click into collections. As you should see here, we have a few collections that we wanted to get started with. If you don't have a collection, then let's go for create an actual new collection into the upper side. And here you wanted to go for the title, the description, and collection type manual, just in case you wanted to add manually your actual collections. Once your collection has now been successfully created, it's going to be asking you how many products you wanted to add into your collections. As you should see, we added all of these elements, and then later on, we hit now into saved and go for view, just to make sure how it actually looks our collections. There we go, it looks really great so far. Now, what we wanted to do is to add the art to the cart into the whole collection of the whole products. So, for that, what we wanted to do is to actually use an actual coding. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't want to do anything about uh, writing down just by copying and paste, really, really simple stuff. So what you wanted to do is to go into the link that I just gave you and copy all of this actual code. So really, really easy. Now I'm going to hit now back into my store. Let's go for online store. And instead of going with the customization of my store, I'm going to go for the three dots and let's go for edit code. Inside edit code, you can see that we have a lot of information here. So I'm going to close all of this so you don't feel like you are into some which you actually don't know. It's actually really, really simple. I'm going to try to check out all of the folders. So now that we are in here, what you want to do is to go for snippet folder. If you don't find the product card grid, you can always go into the upper side of the search bar. And let's go for product dot card. Maybe it could appear as card product liquid, whatever. Just make sure that it has the product card title and that liquid. Really important. Now, if you copy exactly the same product, the same code, I copy all of this. And what you want to do is to paste it at the very bottom of all of this information, which in this case, it would be in here. So I just paste it and I hit it save. And there we go. So now what I wanted to do is to go back into my store and make sure it actually worked it. So let's go here and reload my page. As you should see now, we have now the add to the card into my website. For example, number one, number two, and number three, and so on and on. There is a lot of places which you can try to look out for coding where you don't need to do absolutely anything but just copy and pasting the actual coding. If you don't like the code that we actually used here, you can always go into somewhere else, for example, pastebin.com. And here you can try to look for a lot of elements, for example, coding to adding in a specific background element, uh, changing the actual specific section. You can do a lot of stuff by just copying and pasting actual coding. So guys, there you have it. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. I'm going to leave you once again the link down below in the description of this actual element code that we uh, used into this tutorial. And of course, like you have the link of Shopify so you can get started for free just in case you haven't had claimed your online store for free yet so thank you once again for watching the video guys keep it real see you soon